Hi guys, got a comment from Yes Nevzor. He suggested I should try doing a water turbine powered car by attaching a water turbine directly to the back axle uh, to drive the car forwards. So what we've got here is we've got my water bottle jet car modified so that the water jet squirts what I would call a water wheel and that water wheel is attached directly to the back axle so we will see if that's got enough power to push the car forwards. I'm actually doing it in the reverse direction to the way the jet car normally goes because I want to prove whether the turbine, as we'll call it, actually has enough power to push the car forwards compared to the way that the jet would normally push in the opposite direction. That's 40 pounds, about three bar. It's trying to go uphill there, so it's stopped. I think if we had a flat surface, it'd go better. Because my patio here is quite dished, I think is the best way to put it. But that certainly worked. I'm cutting the circles out of these plastic um, food containers and I've actually scribed the lines on there to line up the individual blades of the, well I'll call it a turbine for now, I'd just call it a water wheel to be honest. And I've cut these pieces out of a pop bottle, these strips, and that will be the individual blades, hot glued in place. There's my water wheel, or water turbine. I think water wheel is a closer definition. So we'll fit that on the back axle. There we are, all modified, ready to test as a water jet or water turbine or water wheel powered car. So I'll put the valve on the front. Well, put some water in it first, then put the valve on, pump it up with air let the map pin out of the back so that the jet of water comes out and pushes against these wheels or whatever you want to call them, veins. Second test run, just going to try it with a slightly larger hole at the back. I've put a barbecue skewer through the hole, see if that makes any difference.
Well, <laughs> one thing it didn't change is we didn't go any straighter. But I'm not sure whether that was any more powerful or not. I'll have to watch the videos back. Certainly there was more air leaking from around the hole. So I guess really you want to do some sort of proper valve there that you can open rather than trying to just pull a peg out of a hole. But there's promise here, potential. It could do better. Quick summary, what have we got? We've got one of my old cars, modified. We've got a plastic pop bottle on top of it with a car tyre valve on it so we can pressurise it. And then we've got a hole at the other end where the water comes out. That pushes against this water mill, as I would call it, water wheel. Uh, water turbine was the word we were looking for. That spins round, that turns the wheels and the car goes forwards. And it works. It doesn't work terribly well. I'm sure if we spent a lot more time working on it we could make it work better. But uh, it shows potential. But I don't intend to go any further on this.